It's time for today's travel and cruise industry news. With the latest from travel and cruises around the world, here's your host, Chili Falls. Good morning and welcome to travel and cruise industry news for a breaking news item. Only three weeks after having opened the borders to international travel, the Bahamas is telling would-be travelers from the United States that they are not welcome. In a national address made last evening, Bahaman Prime Minister Hubert Minnis said that the new rule would go into effect on Wednesday at midnight. Regrettably, he said, the situation here in the Bahamas has already deteriorated since we began the reopening of our domestic economy. It has deteriorated at an exponential rate since we reopened our international borders, end quote. Commercial vessels carrying passengers will not be able to enter the Bahamas borders. Visitors from Europe and Canada will still be permitted to enter the Bahamas as long as they have tested negative for the virus within 10 days of their arrival and have the appropriate paperwork. This is particularly problematic for the Bahamas as visitors from the United States are a major player in the local economy. Menace said, we're in a marathon, not a sprint. Uh, and speaking about the new restrictions, which will impact arrivals by both air and sea. While the reopening of the Bahamas was done in stages, they had not yet had to deal with the issue of cruise ship passengers coming from popular Florida ports given the CDC's control and recently extended no sale order. Just recently, Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line had moved their uh, presumed start date back to uh, August 28th. Uh, they're the only company that has the green light from the CDC. Uh, however, this now changes that whole situation. And before Bahamas Paradise ships can actually resume sailing, the Bahamas will have to reverse its decision regarding border closures. In a related story, soon after the announcement was made uh, by Menace, the Atlantis Paradise Island announced that they have extended closure of the property due to the continued COVID-19 uh, status in the U.S. markets and the Bahamas. The property did not give a reopening date. Atlantis Paradise Island has already pushed back its reopening several times. Uh, and recently they moved uh, the date to July 30th. In the meantime, the Bahamas Prime Minister said the country would no longer accept air and commercial vessels arriving from the U.S. So that's the latest from the Bahamas as they have shut down their borders completely to uh, citizens of the United States. Of course, we'll keep you apprised on any updated news concerning this and how it's going to affect our future of getting back to cruising. This is Chili from Chili's Cruises. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching today's travel and cruise industry news. Join us every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern for another episode. Travel and Cruise Industry News is a production of Chili's Cruises.